Sirach, Ecclesiasticus 6. Instead of a friend, become not an enemy, for thereby you shall inherit an ill name, shame, and reproach. Even so shall a sinner that has a double tongue. Extol not yourself in the counsel of your own heart, that your soul be not torn in pieces as a bull straying alone. You shall eat up your leaves and lose your fruit and leave yourself as a dry tree. A wicked soul shall destroy him that has it and shall make him to be laughed to scorn of his enemies. Sweet language will multiply friends and a fair speaking tongue will increase kind greetings. Be in peace with many. Nevertheless, have but one counselor of a thousand. If you would get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. For some man is a friend for his own occasion, and will not abide in the day of your trouble. And there is a friend who being turned to enmity and strife will discover your reproach. Again, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue in the day of your affliction. But in your prosperity, he will be as yourself and will be bold over your servants. If you be brought low, he will be against you and will hide himself from your face. Separate yourself from your enemies and take heed of your friends. A faithful friend is a strong defense, and he that has found such one has found a treasure. Nothing countervails a faithful friend, and his excellency is invaluable. A faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear Yahuwah shall find him. Whoso fears Yahuwah shall direct his friendship aright. For as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. My son, gather instruction from your youth up. So shall you find wisdom till your old age. Come unto her as one that plows and sows, and wait for her good fruits. For you shall not toil much in laboring about her, but you shall eat of her fruits right soon. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned, that he that is without understanding will not remain with her. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he will cast her from him ere it be long. For wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many. Give ear, my son, receive my advice, and refuse not my counsel, and put your feet into her fetters, and your neck into her chain. Bow down your shoulder, and bear her, and be not grieved with her bonds. Come unto her with your whole heart, and keep her ways with all your power. Search and seek, and she shall be made known unto you, and when you have got hold of her, let her not go. For at the last you shall find her rest, and that shall be turned to your joy. Then shall her fetters be a strong defense for you, and her chains a robe of glory. For there is a golden ornament upon her, and her bands are purple lace. You shall put her on as a robe of honor, and shall put her about you as a crown of joy. My son, if you will, you shall be taught, 
and if you will apply your mind, you shall be prudent. If you love to hear, you shall receive understanding, and if you bow your ear, you shall be wise. Stand in the multitude of the elders, and cleave unto him that is wise. Be willing to hear every holy discourse, and let not the parables of understanding escape you. And if you see a man of understanding, get you early unto him, and let your foot wear the steps of his door. Let your mind be upon the ordinances of Yahuwah, and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish your heart and give you wisdom at your own desire. <laughs>